हेलो एवरीवन होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल खोल एनीबॉडी हाय गनत या खोल खोल वेलकम आई एम जस्ट एडजस्टिंग माय कैमरा बेड या गुड डे टू यू एज वेल How are you? Cool. Hmm. Awesome. Hi, Zindik. Welcome back. Hi, Patrick. cool cool so yeah last one was like the witness day we missed hi talib welcome back so yeah we were on off site like i went to mumbai for a week uh, i returned like a day before yesterday yeah, it was quite fun we had like a lot of discussions we went trekking Yeah, we played game games. Yeah, good break for me. But yeah, feels good to be back. Awesome. Cool, cool. So yeah, if you are new here, do hit subscribe for more. Because a lot more is coming. Okay. Let me just switch to this view. Yeah, so we already are past eleven episodes, I guess. If you count the bonus episodes as well. And if you check the schedule, this is the one we are doing right now. and upcoming is like online movie ticket booking web app with frappe ui do join in it will be fun i'm preparing some wire frames which we can implement hi uh, your name doesn't show up but yeah hi <laughs> yeah and then like an interesting one maybe this will expand to two episodes because payments and teams yeah let's see how it goes and yeah that was that and yeah frappevers conference is coming in frappevers dot in yeah those who are coming they call be there to 8th and 9th mukesh patel auditorium yep awesome cool cool so let's start so yeah there is like an upcoming surprise so the there will be like all the training videos from the past what do you call the last frappe school training and certification program i will like cut them out and like prepare a playlist for you so that you can learn frappe from scratch and then there is also this material that i will be publishing so that what you can do is you can follow along practice and learn frappe framework from scratch all the core concepts it has also linked to other videos that i have posted uh, you will also like be building an app refactoring it adding web views and a lot more this will be fun so this is the exact same material we use in frappe framework certification program just not the submission and the certification and question answering part yeah 
so for that if you want that hand holding and support and everything then august batch is coming in for frappe framework certification program do join in awesome let's start so yeah what's what's on the list let's start with a blank docs doctor appointment portal so so we'll take a different approach here instead of doing wireframes i'm going to do user stories because that makes more sense here because i don't want to because i know what the user wants basically because i am one of the users <laughs> so yeah so do post in emojis in between so i know like i'm not talking just to the camera and maybe i have gone unlive or whatever stopped the stream so yeah we'll be looking for your emojis too cool so what is it the problem is basically uh, right now in my city there are like five or six or seven clinics and uh, the issue is that uh, you need to first call the clinic so they have like all have similar queuing mechanisms if you will so you give them a call evening shift morning shift and then you get a number so for example if you are the 33rd person to call you will get the number 33 hi mamtaz farooq good to have you and once you get that queue number they will tell you at tentative time okay so come at 7:30 and then you go and then you wait for about 25 30 minutes and your turn comes in sometimes it's like 1 hour because the estimation is estimation right and then what happens is you don't know sometimes the doctor comes late right so you don't know until you visit or you call someone you don't get to know it so we are going to solve it maybe i will sell it to the doctors later but yeah the solution i have in mind is like very simple solution i don't know yeah maybe some cities developed cities are doing it but not mine so there will be a list of doctors the city people visit a single domain they see a list of appo clinics appointment times availability days and then they can basically book an appointment so it will add them to a queue so the queue remains same and the best thing is they can check what queue number is going on right now in real time and then whether the doctor is in or not at this position and the admin interface so if you call the clinic you will still be able to register a number but then the nurses or uh, the compounders will be able to put your name in right so there are two personas the compounders who will use the admin interface and the web portal is basically so naturally web views are going to be used for the user part and admin interface means the desk will be used for the compounders and the doctor himself yeah let's start so as a user or a patient patient let's call him user is fine yeah what do i want i want to view the list of clinics in the city where i can book an appointment yeah so that's select a particular with details for example who is the doctor with uh, details like doctor specialty maybe specialty so whether you want to visit a eye surgeon or a dental a dentist yeah details like doctor specialty what do we have yeah etc we'll figure this like implementation detail later select a particular clinic view its uh, what do you call the schedule basically okay the doctor sits like in the clinic 
नाइन ए एम टू फोर पी एम सो एंड सो वी विच शेड्यूल एंड बुक एंड अपॉइंटमेंट सो नाउ दैट लाइक आई एम वेल वर्स विथ फ्रैपी फ्रेमवर्क आई नो विच फीचर्स कैन बी डायरेक्टली यूज सो आई एम थिंकिंग लाइक ओके वेब फॉर्म कैन डायरेक्टली बी यूज टू बुक एन अपॉइंटमेंट लाइक वी प्रोसेस द वेब सबमिशन एंड एंड एड इट टू क्यू बुक एन अपॉइंटमेंट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर डे डे एंड शिफ्ट सो मे बी सम डॉक्टर सेट्स इन द मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट एंड द इवनिंग शिफ्ट एज वेल सो विल कवर दोज टू केसेस एज वेल खूल 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 ऑसम सो शेड्यूल विल बी डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट क्लिनिक्स एंड डॉक्टर्स दैट दैट सो डोंट वरी इफ वी आर आउट ऑफ टाइम आई विल डू अ बोनस एपिसोड एज यू मे हैव नोन बाय नाउ टू कंप्लीट दिस एप्लीकेशन बट विल गेट इट टू अ गुड प्लेस टू डेट सेल्फ होपफुली या सेलेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर क्लिनिक व्यू इट शेड्यूल बुक एन अपॉइंटमेंट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर डे एंड शिफ्ट दैट्स दैट खूल वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज द करेंट Q number and if the doctor is in or out, right? So this ge this idea came to me while I was visiting a doctor, and there was some manual card there which said in and out, basically based on. So they don't didn't update it. So maybe that's a human problem, but. So when the compounder is sitting outside the door, you know, okay, he is in, and then like patients are filled in. Yeah, we'll take this use case and drive it. Cool, cool, cool. This will solve the problem for the user. As a compounder, I don't know the spelling. Works. Yeah. So the th- other thing is, uh, I should. be able to book an appointment because the old flow doesn't need to be heard right you can still call the clinic and book just it won't be on the written so they have like lots of yeah tender okay let's use that thanks mumtaz yeah i'm not that i don't know my vocabulary is, is surprisingly I don't know. It improved since I joined Frappe, but yeah, still a way to go. As a attender, as an attender, okay. I should be able to book an appointment for a patient. So here is a problem, right? So I have seen this. I'm like, it makes me pretty angry. What they do is they change the order, and it is not fair to the other. folks right so uh, in my city i have seen this and like makes me pretty sad as well why why would you a recent case my brother went to a doctor and like some person came in slowly handed over a 200 rupee note and he was a uh, top the list truly truly unfair yeah so we should pre- prevent that well keep this in mind and even if they change the order it should be like tracked changes right so this is the power of automatic systems they can't like just mess around cutting down names from the <laughs> notebook yeah so yeah i should be able to book an appointment for a change the in and out status so they will be the one who will maintain the status okay we don't have like sensor or something but change the status probably we'll create a custom page or something for them to toggle the status or a single log type implementation details change the status for my clinic so if they are the attender for that clinic so yeah we have to do some linking we'll figure it out change the status for my clinic doctor in or out this is it let's list down some particular doc types or masters so doctor is one clinic is one So we'll keep it simple, and then we'll slowly add properties and whatnot. Cool. Uh, doctor, clinic. Uh, then there is appointment. 
linked to a particular clinic for now we are assuming one doctor per clinic for now simplicity case and that's how it is in most of the hospitals in my city so yeah link to a particular clinic and then q okay date shift so which date and shift the appointment is for q number q number or let's see child table yeah not again implementation details but we'll figure it out so appointment but a particular uh, they'll provide their full name or whatever yeah their name full name phone number email phone number is like more common doctor clinic appointment then there is okay we need to track this in and out cool cool yeah clinic will have a web view and there will be yeah let's start this three are like the core and then we'll figure out the rest cool let me just jump into the terminal i could have done this with customization but i want to do with apps because it gives more control over the web views and whatnot and maybe like other cities want to use it right later so yeah cool cool let's start if you have any doubts in between like feel free to ask in the chat i'm constantly looking at the chat as well uh, okay bench start Shall duplicate tab bench is running that's good CD apps is fine. Bench new app. What should we call it? Talk appointments app. That's fine. So app publisher should be, now I'm like using build with us and everywhere. So that's fine. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Like I have, if I have context of that video, I'll surely answer. Mm, let's add unit test. Okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah. App is being created and done gwt right uh, hmm you should be able to do it i guess so you might have to write your uh, custom endpoint i have seen it somewhere if i recall correctly hmm so you have to write your own, what do you call API endpoints for login, logout, and there is a login manager class. Just look for it in Frappe framework source code. Login capital M N A G R. So that is where all the login code lives and you can hack into it to log in after you have authenticated a user, right? Yeah. So you can do all sorts of stuff with that login manager. OTP login, whatever your custom login is. Yeah, even JWT. Cool. Is there a particular use case? Okay. So bench has stopped. Let's start bench again. So you want to customize the OAuth to screen?
i think so you should be able to but uh, hmm a uh, few days ago we were also thinking of redesigning it because it's like pretty old and i don't know looks ugly yeah let's create a new site bench new site uh point mens dot local host let's go with local i'm creating a new site basically So I haven't used it that much, so I don't uh, exactly know, but yeah, it should be, I guess. So yeah, do raise an issue on Frappe GitHub. Maybe whoever like redesigns it can add some theme variables there, so it matches the website theme. I think that's your use case, right? So it should match the website theme somehow. Your primary colors and whatnot. Yeah, you can tag me there as well when you create an issue. Cool. So yeah, let's install the app. Bench dash dash site appointments dot local install app appointments app done. Let's do bench dash dash site no bench browse appointments dot local dash dash user administrator. So I'm log directly logging in as admin. Oh, okay. I know what's happening. I have messed up. So I have to. So if you see, I have a current site dot txt, so it's in single tenant mode. So I have to remove this. Now it should work. Yep. Hmm. One step. We missed, yeah. So we need to add the site to host, right? Add to hosts. Cool. Come on. No, you can see the. Okay, we are back. It's not logging in. Okay, maybe it's fine. We'll log in manually. <laughs> still, still there is an issue. Maybe we need to restart bench. Yeah. And now. Yeah, here is it. So the issue was I didn't restart after removing current site. India. Cool. We are done with setup wizard. Meanwhile, what I will do is I will do code uh, appointments dot local site config developer mode on again restart the bench I should have done clear cache that should be. yeah fine yeah so yeah this was just the setup now what we can do is we can open our app 
VS code that's that and we can doc type so yeah let's start by creating a clinic doc uh, maybe let's start with something simple okay fine let's start with clinic form builder ha huh. yeah i want to use this form because the web view checkbox is not visible there and yeah cool so let's call it clinic module will be appointments app and clinic will be yeah track changes and fields okay so what fields do we need on a clinic did we list them down not yet okay so the clinic name can be set by user that's fine in this case maybe i am the super admin of all the clinics in my city and i create this yeah that's that and what i can do is to do to do to do what the minimum field that i need the clinic name is fine um okay contact number a d d r e s s address we'll add more later contact number can be data as well maybe it's mandatory hmm cool let's save no 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 there was an issue yeah i don't know why my bench is slow come on yeah what i want is uh, since i know i will need a web view so i need two fields for a doc type to be what do you mean, enable web view basically so is published whether this clinic is published on the website or not check and route it should be mandatory so this will be the route where the web view for this particular clinic will be rendered right so slash hospital whatever kale hospital right so it should it will render that particular document at this route so yeah automatically it will do it so yeah we just need to give it this uh and here you go web view has web view allow guest to view route is so this route will be used to show the list of this documents let's go clinic is published field is is published and save cool 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 web views are basically what do you call web views for doc doc types so each clinic has its own web page and there is some magic that i'll show you that happens let's see what what code was generated uh yeah this is clinic row.html so this renders a list i'll show you where clinic.html this renders the particular what do you call a clinic web view main is clinic.py and instead of a doc type it inherits from a website generator so website generator inherits from a doc document basically the document class so yeah it has some extra properties which you can use we'll see when we get there yeah cool 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 so do let me know i am not uh, going into like beginner level stuff on this stuff but soon the tutorial is coming and there i go over like very basic stuff from the start 
cool so let's create a few clinics right I'm bronze are you there not today because bronze is the usually the first one and like he always joins in <laughs> yeah wondering where he is name can be Kale so this is the one no, so I'll nursing home contact number zero double seven eight two. I don't know random number here, not correct. Truly random. Uh, I should make this a small text field. Dharampura Jagdalpur route can be Kale nursing. So, what we'll do is will write a controller to generate this round automatically if it is not set by the user that will be cool so then we can make it non-mandatory as well so let's edit doc tag come on my local bench is like so slow today yeah and i will so form builder is coming v15 so let's take the address here is published can be here route can be at the bottom i will make it non-mandatory address i'll change this to small text small text cool save it again go back to clinic list yeah kali nursing home contact number dharampura jigdalpur awesome uh, now just I need to make sure this route is set uh, and if I do is published equal to like check it you, as you can see the magic of web view starts working if you click on see on website you can see okay right there is a web view this is portal not desk so yeah let me clean it up Let's see what does it do. Does it set it automatically or not? Yeah. So it automatically takes this and sets the route. That is awesome. So now I have clinics. If I just go to clinics, let's see what list view is rendered by default. Awesome. So you see a list of all and then you can click. It already has like the base of what we wanted, right? We just need to have proper information, proper listing, and then we will be good to go and a web form. So yeah, at this time I will commit or not. That's not cool. Cool. Yeah. What was the next thing we wanted? Now the patient should be able to browse this. It should be faster than I expected. Yeah, web view is there. Uh, so let's create a doctor doc type. Doctor doc type. Sounds cool. Let's go to doc type. No, no. I'm a little hungry. Well, I eat some chocolate. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys with me? Or I'm going too fast? Anyone? First name Last name Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Mumtaz. Thanks, Sandeep, for confirming. Uh, first name can be mandatory, last name not so. Patrick. Awesome. Yeah. So, 
क्वालिफिकेशंस सो आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग व्हाट डू दे डू व्हेन दे लाइक गेट अ पोस्टर फॉर देम राइट व्हाट डू दे लिस्ट सो दे लिस्ट देयर फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम देयर क्वालिफिकेशन एम डी बी डी ए वट एवर yeah everything can be data for now so speciality is required hmm hi smart india yeah peace ha huh. yeah naming rule ha huh. what do we do so i have an idea here like the better way would be to add a full name field and yeah so customer portal as it in as in yeah consulting time that hmm yeah let's add it to the doctor itself yeah that's good idea so consulting time can be so there are shifts right so it will be better if we add a child table in doctor that basically has shifts so one shift will be right morning shift 6 am to so yeah let's get to that next mm, i will take full name here mm, by field name full underscore name or no works so yeah now what i will do is i will write a simple controller that sets full name to first name plus last name so i'll go to doctor.py def mm, validate set full name so let's see if copilot can handle if last name not present also handle no so full name is first name plus this this if there is a last name else it's just first name yeah this should do let's go to doctor list and can let's create a few doctors and then we'll get to consulting time and shifts i like modeling doc types first name is manish uh, khale is my favorite doctor in town no. qualifications i don't know manish khale dr manish khale so pediatrician right this can be the speciality and uh, the degrees no don't send me okay total spam okay as you can see we want this kind of thing as well right timings awesome let's capture this and we'll keep note of this oh, let's move it to shift awesome yeah this kind of so this clearly looks like a child tip <laughs> okay yeah so qualifications that's why okay let's hit save full name should be set automatically if the controller code works 
awesome full name is required hmm now i get what's happening because first it will type try to name the doc and then the validate will run so let's do one thing to make it easier i could have gone the auto name way but uh, let's do this and set it to auto increment for now I'll create a new doctor again. Yeah. Hey, doctor, Scully, specialty pediatrician. Hit save. Okay, full name was set. Even if the user tries to change it, it should set back to the correct one. <laughs> yeah, but let's make it more beautiful so first name last name full name qualifications speciality that's fine and let's make it read only because we are controlling it right save go to doctors list one so let's set the title field to full name so we see full name here again View settings title field is full underscore name and we want speciality to be visible in list view. Oh, it's there, cool because it's mandatory. Okay, fine, cool. Pediatrician Manish Kale. Awesome, awesome. The doctor is done. Hi, Salim. <laughs> we should have waited for you, right? <laughs> Next time I'll remember. So even bronze is missing. <laughs> this time we have Mumtaz. Uh, Mumtaz, is this your like first episode joining in? Because I haven't like... This will do now let's do shifts so what shifts the doctor is available so first we'll need a doc type to store the shift data okay name will be shift doctor shift okay let's call it shift And you'll hi Dante welcome back can we make consumer portal like this I don't know what kind of customer portal do you want like an e-commerce or something I didn't get it so module will be appointments app and this will be not a child table but yeah so what do we need? We need a start time of that shift. Thankfully we have a time field time mandatory and time again time field time 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 mandatory. So these are the two things like required for a shift. Awesome. Maybe I'm thinking too much. It should be a child table. Yeah. So let's call it Dr. Shift. Start time, end time. Awesome. In list view. In list view. Let's save. Yeah, ERP Next already has like a customer portal. 
so e-commerce like there is a whole module with like lots of lots of features so yeah doctor shift and now what we can do is uh, in the doctor doc type we'll add this as a child table cool let's add shifts which is will be a table doctor shift I'll hit save let's do one thing add a new section like remove this move shift here move it move the whole section down below save it and one more thing we missed is what days the doctor is available right for simplicity we'll assume each day has like a similar shift because otherwise it will complicate the stuff so start time let's go back to 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 9 a.m. is uh, 9 0 0 0 0 0 0 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 3 is right now that's fine cool 3 p.m. and then 6 to 9 6 is 18 to 21 this works and now we need this Monday to Sunday right hmm there is a uh, two ways we can go here so we can have like two 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 again get another child table for the days or we can have like check boxes for all the seven days so seven check boxes and i'm thinking in the back end will it make any harder to render because at the end i want to render this in my portal right monday to sunday hmm yeah, I'll figure this out soon when we do it. Holiday list. Hmm. Yeah, that can be better. Like for the sim, I'm trying to solve for the simplest case right now. So assuming there are like only, so there can be ad hoc holidays, which I think. So for example, doctor is going out of time for three days. The nurse or the attendee should be able to mark those three days off right so no one can book those three dates yeah kind of a holiday list we'll maintain yeah so now how do we link this doctor to that clinic easy we'll go to the clinic doc type so like going forward i'm thinking this will need like a child table of doctors but for now it's fine just a single doctor this will solve like a lot of issues for us mandatory hit save yeah option is doctor let's move it up Kali nursing home the doctor is Kale. awesome we are done here so let's focus on the web view now so if you see if we click on see on website we see this right where is it coming from so it is coming from clinic.html which was created inside this templates folder inside the doc type folder this is how web views work and it inherits from web.html which comes from Frappe, the Frappe source code or the core core Frappe app itself. This is how the footer header this thing comes right and the styling as well.
cool so title is name that is fine i won't focus much on styling as of now because we need the mvp right to show to the doctors that okay this is how it works and then ha huh, what is it suggesting me i don't need a form yeah so i'll open up clinic.json and see what what fields we have so we'll need the address okay that's fine so let's do a p tag doc dot address i'll bring them side by side so it's easier to yeah so doc contains all the fields of the doc tag <laughs> is that django where where is django cool so yeah templates i think you are assuming this so templates are also there in django as well but yeah you will need a lot of wiring in django as compared to what you what we did here so yeah what else we need doc dot address uh we'll also list what i will do is i will do a p here a d d r e s s strong so i want it to be bold this no this is all frappe framework are you new to frappe framework if you are like you should check it out i'll share some resources if you want to start learning it yeah so address fine what else phone dog dot contact number contact number awesome there is phone cool yeah these are like meta routes we don't need like meta fields we don't need to show it to the user yeah yeah so you you will be happy to know i'm like soon it's an editing phase i will edit the whole training material and share so you can start to learn frappe framework and master it yeah so that will be like for beginners cool cool okay so now address now this is the part i want to show the shifts right so where are the shifts right shifts are inside the doctor which is a link field so i have the doctor field here but i will need this auto complete right so this is github copilot crazy stuff okay so what i will do is set doctor equal to frappe dot get doc i'll get the doctor doc type most probably i will do frappe dot db dot get all later but for now it will work because get doc is like heavier than if you just want some fields use db dot get value so we need doc dot doctor and let's try to print doctor dot full name so if we wrote the code correct we should be able to see the full name of the doctor that is manish kale let's do one more yeah awesome so let's add this here call it doctor 
now i should be able to yeah because i want child table get doc makes sense yeah fine let's keep get doc because i want to iterate over each shift and render it right so let's do that uh, so how do i do that i don't want the patient man for shift in doctor dot shifts shifts and for so what basically i am doing is if you let me go back this right we fetch the doctor from here so now we have this whole document come on i need to check my bench installation it's, it has become quite slow yeah so shifts will give me each row like it will give me a list basically which has the first element as this second element as this and then i will render it so shift dot start time shift dot end time cool so let's render it in a span okay let's do one thing we'll do a ordered unordered list will look ugly for now but fine the core thing is we'll get it working so i am rendering a list element for each shift so shift dot start time to shift dot end time and if we are if we refresh this we should be able to see a list of shifts cool quite slow quite slow it's like usually very fast yeah now we have the shifts let's copy this and we'll call it what did that site call it timings let's call it timings awesome yeah usually it is this fast <laughs> cool maybe i need to clear cache or something awesome we got the address the phone the doctor the timings uh, let's render the specialty after his full name so doctor dot specialty wrong spelling Let's correct the spelling. Splash. Yeah, wait. Okay. Let's refresh. Awesome. Three, two. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. No such element. Okay. So I've already messed up the spelling there. So. <laughs> so I will open up Doctor Dot Jason and check. Okay. Should we rename or? for now let's keep this okay pediatrician awesome everyone with me we are like we did the core thing right now the user should be able to browse a list of clinics he should be able to view the details of that clinic okay doctor is manish kale he is a pediatrician the timings are this and this awesome and now we want a button to book right button or an a tag is fine because we will take them to a web form book a point meant and we'll call it we'll give it a class of btn so it's bootstrap for btn link is there btn in foils that will do let's refresh and href uh, we won't give it href yet because we haven't created the web form so next we'll do that book appointment awesome now the user should be able to click on book appointment the form opens up awesome everything is going smooth till now <laughs> cool 
cool. Let's get back and implement appointments, right? So where do we start? Now we need a doc type to store that appointments, right? Where the web form will create the appointment. Hmm. So what do we need? Let's call it appointment. Module will be appointments app. We need to track the changes, track the scene of this appointment. It will be is submittable because I don't want to like whoever going around changing it after it is done, right? So if the time has passed, the day has passed, it should be submitted and the data should be immutable after that. So let's make it submittable. Awesome. Uh, let's scroll down, scroll down. Let's track views as well. So we know who viewed this appointment, right? Quick entry is fine as well because as we wrote in our user story, right? The at attendee should be able to create appointments. So quick entry makes sense. Cool. So patient name, hopefully patient is the correct spelling. What? Patient is cool. Patient name should be mandatory. Uh, should we add the contact number or not? Contact number. Can be optional. So they may want to be contacted. They may not. That's fine. So what I'm thinking is like we can implement a notification that sends a notification when their like turn is about to come. Ah, oh, that would be cool. Just came to my mind. Then they don't have to check like, okay, I'm checking whose turn it is. So they get a message or something, right? Via SMS. Okay, your turn is about to come. Like, go visit your hospital, man. <laughs> that will be awesome. Yeah, patient name, contact number, clinic. So this will be a link. It will be mandatory. Clinic. Awesome. What, do, what else, what else, what else? So we did have the note. So shift, I don't know, date, date is required. Date, date will be date field, mandatory. So we need to somehow later add a validation that, okay, you can't book an appointment for a past date. Okay, now here is the issue, right? Here is the issue. Hmm, shift. You are booking for the morning shift or the evening shift <laughs> because shift is a child table inside the doctor. How do we let them select the shift? So shift should be its own independent doc type. So child table was not a good idea. Cool. Let's refactor. Agility. Mm, date and shift will come here later. Cool. So I think these are the, okay, later on this, this won't come from the form, but uh, Q number, which will be an, not an icon, an int. Non-negative. What else? Q number, full name, this, link to a particular clinic date. Okay, fine. Let's remove this extra field, hit save. So let's give it a naming series by expression. So I, as a desk user, I should be able to just see the name and tell, okay, this is the appointment from this date. Right. So let's use APP for appointment and then appointment for 
clinic right the clinic name it should be scrubbed but mm, fine i'll call it date also is like So again, the we should be able to set name from the backend. For 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 now, I'll do like simple. Okay, app zero one zero two zero three. It's fine. Maybe I will add mm. Why 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 why? Dd. That works. So. at least we know when this appointment got created right awesome let's refresh okay let's go to form builder patient name clinic date q number contact number amendment form is like fine awesome now let's create an appointment so what so date can be the current date by default that will do so what i'm thinking as a attendee right so i just go here click on add appointment patient name clinic clinic should also be set by default if they are logged in and they only maintain one clinic but for now it's fine so they select a clinic and then hit save and then done appointment is created on the back end we'll do some logic to assign a queue number and what not first we need to shift like uh, what do you call so let's go here options no default should be today hmm today or this today nope i don't remember what now what if someone recalls just let me know or i will proceed without it for now it should have worked let's check let's check the source code and let's check erp next <laughs> surely it will have some date field with default value command shift f default it should be json capital today okay found it date capital t awesome this is how like you can learn about stuff that is like hard to find in the documentation or something yeah thanks kenneth and now let's go to appointment list create a new appointment today is set awesome call in nursing home patient name patient name we have to provide okay john doe hit save yep 
appointment got created date is this clinic is this patient name is this awesome q number is zero that we will figure out programmatically so now what 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 is the blocker the blocker is the shift right so they should be able to select the shift hmm tricky child table doesn't work so let's decouple doctor from shift for now so i'll go to doc type and create an independent shift schedule shift appointments app this will be start time hmm time and time I will have a title. I'll tell you why later. So start time is mandatory, end time is mandatory. So how much time? Forty-eight. It's fine. We'll do. We'll get the appointments working, so the user will be able to book an appointment, and queues will work. Let's increase the pace a little. start time end time title um, for now let's do doctor and uh, doctor or clinic both we can do but what make more sense yeah doctor is fine yeah let's do a link field and it should be mandatory so this shift is for a particular doctor right clinic also we can link but uh, let's do one thing clinic because we can uh, now 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 it makes sense because we can get to a doctor via a clinic because it's a single one this needs a major overall if in the future we decide that multiple doctors are there <laughs> but fine easier to change doc types right just ship them vp that's my goal right now cool 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 clinic has invalid data field Okay, I forgot to change it to link field. Awesome. This works, and it should be mandatory. Naming rule is fine. Can I get your GitHub repository? So I haven't pushed it to GitHub yet, but I will. So what you can do is, uh, so I usually push all what uh, whatever I build to my. get a profile so i'll share this so you can like if you will fo follow me on github you will get notification and in your timeline you will see what i posted and when and whatever yeah cool clinic start time and time title clinic cool this is awesome now we just need to figure out a way to the first step would be to remove the child table from the doctor <laughs> and we'll have to change the jinja template to accommodate this so let's go to doctor and remove this shifts child table the whole section basically and then i will create two shifts so 
उसको स्टार्ट टाइम पॉज वॉट नाइन जीरो 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 एंड टाइम वॉज फिफ्टीन जीरो 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 टाइटल इज फाइन क्लिनिक इज दस खूल सो वाई डिड वी लाइक सपरेट दिस राइट बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड टू हैव दिस लिंक्ड इन ट्रिकी दिस इज नॉट लाइक एन ईजी मॉडलिंग ऑफ डॉक टाइप हाय रंजीत वेलकम सो आई एम नाउ थिंकिंग चाइल्ड टेबल इन द क्लिनिक to store this shift there this makes sense then we'll be able to hmm <laughs> in appointment we'll be able to fetch this no it's fine we'll do it yeah i'll share it towards the end i'll push it and share the link before the closing does that work this is awesome now let's uh, what i will do is i'll duplicate this duplicate and i will just change the time to 18 twenty one eighteen zero 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 let's save okay fine now we have two shifts that are connected to this clinic and now will have to do some magic little more python magic to render this timings now because now they don't come from the child table as they were coming before so this won't work so somehow we'll have to fetch this shifts malicious attack what i didn't get it <laughs> so what i will do is i'll fetch the shifts somehow set shifts equal to frappe dot get list i want to get a list of what i schedule schedule shift where so i'll apply some filters where the clinic is dog dot name right dog dot name contains the current clinic which is being rendered here makes sense everyone still with me filter is applied then we will fetch some fields what fields do we need we need the start time and end time awesome so this should like work i'll just hit refresh and see if it works <laughs> awesome it's 7 to 9 and 9 to 15 but fine we'll we are fetching shift from there that's good that's good for now and the other thing is let's go to web form now so book appointment let's get this working we'll somehow figure stuff out keep going web form list let's add a web form title will be book appointment ment appointment Uh, is standard because I want it to live with my app and not as a customization on the set site. Let's remove uh, access stuff. Please fill in the details to book an appointment. 
comment see you come on so let's publish this form and see it on website awesome now they can fill in their details john no the today's date is automatically filled and if they want a future date they can select clinic they can select contact number this the, 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 and they can save and it will create a new appointment that's done so now we just need to link this button like this link to there so let's go back and check out what route this is rendering so this is slash book appointment slash new so href this awesome let me hit refresh book appointment awesome but as you can see i want the clinic to be pre-filled right because they came they want to pick this particular clinic that is easy i just need to pass in query parameter so clinic equals to so i will write some more jinja clinic equal to doc dot name awesome let's hit refresh Now it is selected automatically. Now they just need to fill their patient name and contact number and we should probably move contact number to the top. So it's easier for them to keeping in user, like keeping user in the mind. So contact number can go above and let's refresh the form book appointment. They fill in the patient name, contact number, or maybe this should be in the bottom. Ah, uh, fine. Patient name, John. Jenny Doe, some contact number, hit save. And instead of save, we should rename it to something else, book or something. And submit it, thanks for submitting valuable uh, this form, submit another response, no. So I need to change some stuff in the settings. Login should not be required and what do we want we want customization so save button should be book appointment after submission success title so this is what like this is appointment booked thank you for spending your na success message will be I'm not getting your point Rajnikan where where is it happening in your code base or did I miss a message of yours in your aws so so give more contents context what is happening what like what was the incident so maybe you'll we'll able to help success message will be you can check your check the current So later we will customize this as well. So they can see the assigned number to do display the queue number assigned, assigned to them. Cool. C 
see one website this is fine so i'm going over the whole flow so i browse i want this Kali nursing home booking let's book an appointment these are selected automatically now the button name is changed to book appointment patient name Ramesh contact number is something book appointment appointment booked to do display the queue number we'll do that awesome let's set a commit basic talk types um, appointment form awesome everyone with me till now this was cool still we we weren't able to figure out the shift right till now let's figure out the shift because that will help us tackle more a little more com complicated problems as in the sense then we'll move on to creating a queue of this thing Okay, web form is there, but what I need is like a shift. So let's go to the appointment doc type. Appointment. And we'll add one more thing here that is queue number is fine we want which particular shift of that day this particular folk want right so this will be a link field to a schedule schedule shift it should be mandatory as well and shift will go with the date awesome but 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 here is the deal, here is the deal. So if I go to a particular appointment, the shift should be, okay, let's add a title field, right? That's why I added a title field. Now let's set that title field. So what I will do is, because currently it will be completely random. So let's, so I want, the title to be the start time dash the end time come on yeah this title field right so let's open up the controller file of this hmm. what is it called schedule shift dot pi and what i will do is def not validate Valid it works too. Before say we'll have the same effect for now. Set the title field to start time dash end time. this should work but i don't like i want to format this right so let's check if it is working so if i change something and hit save most probably it will break because it will or not let's see yeah this works 
but let's format it better because I don't want this seconds right I just want this too so Frappe has a lot of utility functions which we can use let's open up console and try out a few try to find out which one is it that we want to format the date or we can look at the docs as well format time is there a format time yeah frappe dot utils dot format time so let's import from frappe dot utils import format time from frappe dot utils import format time i don't know what format it will give but yeah that's why i opened up the console right but did i close it console format time and let's give it this what does it do nothing we take some argument and then let's open up frappe code base okay format string it takes a format string example is hmm that is what we want hhmm awesome so let's copy this over formatted similarly yep format date let's change something let hit save cool 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 awesome now we can set the title field to be this Doc type list schedule shift title field is title and now if we go to schedule shift list as you can see right and let's get this working as well awesome it is formatted it looks good and in appointment it will also look good when you select the shift right so let's go to clinic list call in nursing home let's visit the web view right now we can get the title instead of this so we don't need we'll just fetch the title of this shift and we don't need the formatting so shift dot title awesome formatted this is cool now what's next what's next let's speed up a bit 25 minutes yeah maybe yeah makes sense it will be great feature i don't know like i haven't looked at frappe health much i just heard about its development now and then i hear it but yeah not much involved 
but yeah starting simple is like the way to go when you like jump in directly to frabel maybe you will try to integrate with with existing features and you may lose track of what the real stuff was maybe this can be like you take this app and then start using it and then we can upsell to frabel that okay you want more features and then go ahead <laughs> cool this is fine this is fine this is awesome now now here is the deal appointment list why did i format it in the first place right the one was that we rendered it and the one is like in the appointment list link field now i will be able to see the time itself and the next thing is currently it will show all the shifts of all the clinics i just want to see this clinics right so how do i do that so what i will do is i will go to appointment.js i will uncomment this frm.set query so what i'll show you an example first command shift f frm.set query js file so you can filter right filter a particular list field link field filter its options right so let's do this set query the first is the field name in our case it is called shift and it gives us the doc return filters not department i want to return the filter basically where the clinic is doc dot clinic that simple let's hit refresh so set query is a cool trick to remember not a trick but a method to filter out because it's like very useful i'm refreshing as you can see currently awesome now filter is applied for kale nursing home so if i am booking an appointment for kale nursing home i will only see the shifts that are of this awesome awesome are you guys with me emoji time add an emoji in the text box now let's add it to the web form as as well book appointment i want you to get fields queue number appointment form is gone patient name contact number date cleaning date shift and click save let's view this on the website patient name is something i want to select the clinic and awesome now they can select which yeah yeah web views you can like allow guest if you check that you can show it to anyone visiting your website thanks and deep thanks kenneth Thanks, Salim. Weird emojis, but fine. <laughs> so yeah, let's book an appointment for this guy. Can add a contact number, and I will book an appointment. Do 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 do. done let's check now what the core thing that i wanted to cover is the queuing thing right we'll do that and we'll close welcome smarty i'm call you smarty right <laughs> smarty india 
Maybe you can give me your real name and I will try to remember. Just like Salim. So his YouTube name is Jomtech or Homtech. I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. So what are we doing now? What did we do? So yeah, we refactored the shift thing. And yeah, we did like a lot of clean stuff. Refactor, better shift management. So now adding a shift will be as easy as going there and selecting the clean again. Awesome. Cool, that's done. What next? <laughs> Yay. Um, doc type. So we created, now I think doctor shift is not required. We can delete that doc type after cleanup. So I'll leave it there. One, two, three, four. Now what do we want? We want queuing, right? Queuing, queuing. So how will it work? Queuing. How is the queue number generated, right? Queue. So clearly we need to maintain queue for each day shift. pair so for each day each shift we have to maintain a queue sure so what i am planning to do is because you know we will be able to get to it or not but this like the page where you redirect after the booking can be customized so what we can do is like after like to a success url we will add like a proper page for success and then they can download the receipt or the first goal should be uh, would be to show their appointment number right and then in, you can do all sort of stuff you can add a link here and then click here to download your receipt all sorts of stuff everything is possible in minimal effort that's why we are able to build an app in like 2.5 hours right if you were to start this from scratch in a django or laravel or something i don't think you would have like got until here in this two hours of time 2.5 hours yeah cool 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 okay okay this works book appointment awesome what we were doing yeah we were trying to figure out how to implement queuing right each day shift pair Okay. Hmm. So the idea is to create a new doc type. Maybe call it uh, appointment appointment queue. It will have a child table right for storing the appointments link to appointments what next yeah we can email but uh, i'm thinking of my city right not many people email and phone number so it should be as minimal as possible but if they do provide a phone number then we can send them an alert or something using notification yeah so i'll show you how i like you go to notification list so it's a no code feature notification come on yeah so channel is this subject okay document type i would have selected appointment 
and then like on create that is basically new i would have sent the queue number and all the details via email there is also sms initialize sms settings sms settings gateway url message parameter receive parameter right something like twilio or something you can use awesome that was that we will circle it circle back to it later but fine awesome okay again we are digressing a bit it will have a child table link to appointments we'll do it very fast yeah 13 minutes left uh ratkesh ask i have different appointment types appointment a takes 15 minute b takes 30 minute is it possible for the customer to select a or b and then directly book the appointment with a precise time uh i didn't get it like uh, what mm. appointment a takes so appointment is a is for a particular patient yeah it's completely possible like because you have the control right so you can model the doc types according to that i modeled it based on this you can add like an another intermediate doc type to track like a field to track okay this appointment takes this many minutes and then in the back end you can involve back end and write your own templates as, as well if you hit the limit with web form write your own template is just uh, collecting data and sending it to the back end then you can use frappe.call to post that data to the back end like a lot more complicated we can get yeah <laughs> and it will be easy to implement not 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 that hard i'm trying to do the minimal here yeah sure let's see uh i can't promise but i will sleep over it and then let you know because i i want like if this app goes somewhere i will yeah implement some advanced stuff as well let's see i'll show it to a few people randomly and then if they say okay okay we want this and for our city and then i will approach a doctor and yeah that's the plan <laughs> wish me luck yeah it will have a child table because i want it to be improved right i won't charge anything or something like that but i want this it will improve quality of life it will have a child table link to appointments and that should solve the issue right will append this child table will get the index of that and then awesome Do 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 do. And if anybody changes the order, the appointment number will change. Yeah, one day we can do that. So it will not be easy. It will be not that hard. You just use the HTML form element, and then in the action you provide a path, and then you write a whitelisted API to handle that form. That's it. Frappe will automatically store the data you send in frappe dot form underscore dict. You don't even have to parse the form. Let's see if you will come back tomorrow. Maybe no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm busy. Ah, uh, let's see. Tomorrow, please don't schedule calls. Book club. I have some Friday also not possible. How about Saturday? Saturday, if you will like join in, I will show you how to make a custom form and handle it in the back end and so on and so forth. Does that work? Yogesh, uh, Radkesh, both your problems will be. Solved. 
do 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 that would work awesome yogesh has an reply if he replies i will do the session otherwise not <laughs> uh delhi pass can you do it after payment then book appointment yeah so again you will have to so there is a payments app that has <laughs> so that has basically um that lets you attach payments to web forms razor pay or stripe and then the user can pay and then they will receive the appointment id and that in email yeah that should be straight forward to the payments part right and then you are moving more and more closer to building a custom form because that will give you more control and so on and so forth yeah cool rohit hasn't replied yet yogesh sorry uh not right yogesh the stream is cancelled <laughs> it will have a child table link to appointments done 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 let's do this and we are done so let's create a doc type real fast add a doc type let's call it what are we calling it appointment queue appointment doc type so i don't like think all of it and come right so i think on the go and correct course correct and so on that's how the real development happens if i would have like planned it all that would be much faster but then you don't get to see the raw stuff which is the whole point of build with hasan yeah a uh, module we need to appointment doc time not appointment q u e u e track changes track scene track views i want to track everything and it will have a table not now i have to create a child table first so i will call so i will have link fields as we discussed so it will be linked to a particular date so we can write a schedule job that will create this document for each day the doctor is available right clinic which clinic we are talking about link clinic mandatory then we have shift link schedule shift mandatory date should be mandatory as well Let's create a child table. Add doc type. Name will be appointment Q item appointment. Just like items in a sales invoice or something. Uh, this will be a child table. appointment this will be a link field mandatory naming role i don't want to mess it with let's hit save 5 minutes left don't worry we'll cross 10 minutes it's fine uh, options required yeah appointment this is what i call the doc type yeah fine now i'll go back to appointment queue let's call it q u e u e table field 
appointment queue item let's go to appointment queue list create a new appointment queue for today clinic is Kali nursing home shift is morning shift and then we have appointments right uh, that's cool that's fine so I want the patient name to be the title field let's do that where is appointment <laughs> view settings title field is page let's copy it from here save it and we are going to appointment queue list add a queue and now if we right it will be easier for the reader as well so they come in the queue okay you are next and let's add a status field as well to the appointment quickly 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 so i want to get it to where i can ship it right appointment queue the basic version maybe the users will complain fine I don't okay uh, this will be a select field status what all options come on people suggest what all options can an appointment be this what all states we can put it in the first can be I guess the last will be completed so this is when the appointment is done completed pending refuse as I suggest new time so this status is different than what I am talking about I am just talking about okay no so you are right you are right you are right you are right so this status should not go here this should not yeah I got your confusion so this should go in the queue item status let's make it mandatory so what's the status in the queue right pending and completed right uh, and they can basically mark someone absent as well if your queue number is there and you didn't come then you go to the end of the queue or something pending absent completed these three are fine awesome let's set the default to pending come on come on come on come on yeah maybe they can they will be able to cancel their appointment yeah let's add that as well cancelled and we'll make the default as pending yeah rebooked is not required I guess this will do and now what I can do is I can go to the queue go to the list come on and okay it's not visible in list queue item in grid view cool John Doe's appointment is pending cool so this way now we'll know what is the current what do you say ongoing oh ongoing can be one status right pending ongoing so if they go inside 
the nurse or anyone like the attendee marks it in right iterative iteratively we are building it yep let's create a sample queue for today clinic is kali nursing home shift is this hit save appointment is this pending and when they go inside it marks ongoing and then completed right so how do we do like add this particular uh, folk to the queue so let's go to appointment uh, appointment list no appointment dot pi yeah def after no after insert before insert self before insert or i wanted to run after basically after the form is submitted and like this document gets created after that i want to run is there an after insert or something barely used it but i want it now frappe framework.com slash docs not frappe but uh, document hooks controllers controller hooks yeah this before 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 after insert this is what we want cool after insert we want to self dot add to appointment q u e u e Rapid dot get doc appointment q u e u e. We need to get that appointment q where the date is self dot date shift is self dot shift clinic. is self dot clinic right for this particular and then q is this q dot append there is an append method to appointments or what 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 i what did i call it q this is basically uh, github copilot so i will append it to the queue so i am adding an item takes two fields one is the appointment oh, okay just one so just give the appointment the status can be so i'm adding the appointment which is going to be self dot name right and now i'll ignore the permissions and save it now what right q 
dot save q dot up so we append it and then we need to return length of q dot q which will be the q number right and then let's print it to the console your q q e u e number okay since we have run out of time that's why but we did like complete the cycle i guess let's test it out i will go to the most basic clinics list come on come on yeah here we are now the user can browse it click on this book appointment patient name is fresh contact number something i want the morning shift i guess because book an appointment appointment queue value missing for status okay i did set the default to pending right okay appointment book queue number assigned go back your queue number is two which is awesome done now we just need to render a success page with that queue number which is very very easy <laughs> very easy cool let, let, let's do it i don't want to break the cycle and go away right let's i'm adding a new portal page uh up let's call it uh success with q number dot html we'll add okay q number rapid dot form dict mm q number i don't think if it will work or not but uh, let's see so i will so like anything in ww folder has its own the path is the name of the file basically success with q number success with q number come on come on come on come on q number none and if i pass a q number q u e u e number equal to 2 awesome this page right noise we just need one thing more so i will inherit so we get all the styles right extends this page content and block let's refresh so if you didn't know this is how you can get query parameters in your change your number q number is 2 awesome you just need to figure out a way to send them to this page because i don't think web form supports a dynamic success url hmm hmm <laughs> but we are done like for now so i have i think like the pylens extension and then i have 
the other is github copilot that's it customization okay there is scripting and style so url is not dynamic uh. So, custom web form makes sense, or I should be able to basically hmm, hook into write a script and hook into that. But yeah, I can do this. I won't be able to pass the queue number, but I can hard code it for now. This is arc issue. Sidebar is in closing. Okay. Let's go here. See on website. Patient name. Q number is two, so we just need to make this dynamic somehow. We will connect Saturday and do more of this stuff. Maybe not. Let's connect. I like building stuff live. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining in, and hope to see you next week. Or if you want to join the Saturday Wala bonus call, then you're most welcome. I'll be happy. Cool. Yeah. Bye, Salim. Bye, Sandeep. Hope you learned something new today. Cool. Bye, Radhesh. Bye, Yogesh. Yeah, you too. Take care. Bye, Nandi. See you later as well. So yeah, sure. Uh, drop me a Twitter message or email, and I will share the resources where you can start. Bye, Patrick. Have a nice day. Have a nice good night if it's going to be night. It's probably gonna rain here. No sun. Okay, fine. Cool. Keep building awesome stuff. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.